So I just want to do a quick little review of the Camdu Blink. Um, it's a GoPro controller um, made by Camdu. So let's just check it out, cut right to it. Um, so basically let you do long-term time-lapse stuff. So here it is. Um, let's have it sitting on a tripod. Um, let me stop down a little bit. Um, but I had it shoot these tulips um, over the course of a few days and just showed them coming from basically like nothing and kind of going up um, and sprouting out a little bit. Um, I stopped a little too early. Um, if I were to do it again, I would change a few things. But the controller uh, worked flawlessly. So that's a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Um, I just have it plugged in um, powered via the USB. Um, it's just plugged into the wall. So it's constant power. And then the Camdu controller, which is this piece here on the back, um, comes with this little remote. And it's just like a, I don't know, I guess an intervalometer type remote. But they have it set up so it triggers the Camdu Wi Fi. Um, doesn't trigger really the GoPro Wi Fi, but it does the Camdu Wi Fi, which you can then um, access on your phone. So I'm not going to show you my passcode. Um, but so they have like a web browser type app. Um, should get some better shots of it. But um, basically, what you can do with it though is my little brother is texting me. Um, is you can sync up the camera and then you're able to set different schedules. So I had two set up for this shot. We're at it going 24 hours a day. Um, but you can do up to 10. And so you can have schedule one, maybe shooting photos from nine to five during a construction shoot. I don't know, it's an example. And then another one at night with different settings um, or video, or you could even have it take like a picture every 30 minutes and then do a video every five minutes for one minute or something. I don't know. It just kind of depends what you want to do. Um, you can have 10 of those, so it's pretty convenient. Um, you can have a camera do a lot of different things. So it's, it's awesome. Like, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, Camdu has some videos on their site that are just super, super simple. And if you follow the directions, it's not a big deal to set up. Um, just make sure you update the Blink firmware and the Blink um, not the Blink, the GoPro firmware too. Um, otherwise it won't work or won't work very well. And I did that, didn't have any issues at all. Um, once it got going, it was not buggy, which was kind of surprising. Um, yeah, so what else was I going to say? I don't remember. Um, but I like the system though. Oh, something I was going to say is since I'm at my home right now, um, what happened is I tried to set up the Camdu Wi-Fi and then it kept trying to like connect to my home Wi-Fi from my iPhone. So what I had to do was go and forget my home networks and then I didn't have any issues connecting to the Camdu system. So if you're out in the field or something, you're shooting with the GoPro outside, you're probably not gonna have that issue. Um, you won't have that issue unless you're connecting to some network out there. Um, but that was a little thing that kind of frustrated me at first because like why is it not connecting and then there's just that issue So once I uh, forgot the network on my phone um, Didn't have any issues um, doing it um, And then I just had this one set up to go every minute So what the blink does is it turns the camera on um, If it needs to cycle through it'll cycle through and take the photos and turn back off again and So it works really good like like I said didn't have any issues um, what's pretty cool though is it does save the battery, so if you're not running off of AC power, you can have the GoPro go for a long time. Like I have the battery in there right now, and when I pulled out the power the other day, it went for a couple days with just the battery power. So it just turns the camera on real quick, turns it back off. So super low power consumption, which is really nice. Um, but let's kind of check out what I shot this with, um, as far as like the setup and everything. So this is an old like light stand I had. Have it in here because obviously I'm not going to take this anywhere. This is falling apart. It's not going to name the brand, but I'm naming the brand. It's just crap. Like, 
the stuff is garbage, but the lights look okay. And when they're just sitting here, I'm not touching anything. It's just set up and ready to go. So I just have the three lights going and then had the GoPro. Um, I bought a little skeleton case for it, but I guess I just bought a cheap one again. And I couldn't get the cables to all connect, so I just ended up gaff taping it to the tripod, which is also it's a cheap tripod because I'm not touching it um, or moving it. So I didn't have any issues with it moving around at all. Um, but yeah, then I just had it set to go. Um, this is a table, standard white background. Like, I don't know. Here's a shot from this way. And yeah, you can see my dirty little gear room. Um, it's not very clean at all. But yeah, so I'll put the shot in the video. I have a little go behind the scenes shot that I also did with the Canon 20D. Um, just different angle, shows the blink and everything. And yeah, I'm excited to use this more. I'd like to take it outside. I know Camdu has um, some outdoor enclosures that are solar powered and run off of voltaic systems, external battery pack. So you could have a camera going for theoretically forever, I guess, until your memory card fills up or the batteries fail. Um, but they're pretty cool. It's built out like a Pelican case or something and they're watertight and they look pretty sick. So I'll have to try that out sometime. But for now, just, just did this shot inside and pretty happy about it. So let me know what you think if you have any questions. Um, I definitely recommend buying this product. It's great. Like like I said, I had no issues and GoPros are cheap. So if you need to do some I don't know, construction time lapses or just anything inside that the normal GoPro intervalometer can't do, definitely pick one of these up and yeah, get to work. Okay, subscribe, let me know what you think and leave any comments. Goodbye. Okay,